Sergeant, of the men around the fort. Ah, your forgiveness, please. I am just giving orders to the soldiers for guarding of this pavilion and the fortress up Achi. Extreme measures are required, or maybe, as you call in your country, locking the barn door when the horse is already missing. <laughs> you must not leave. It is not permitted. I am in command. My soldiers will shoot if you try. Do me the honor, please, of your undivided attention. I am Colonel Tour Kishbath, Inspector Military for Criminal Investigation in this district of Vages. I bring news of a great misfortune. Arthur Effex, the prominent English businessman and scientist, was found at 5 p.m. today in a small boat on River Tigris. His body was wrapped in a heavy sack, and he had been shot through the forehead. Even now, men under my command are questioning local inhabitants. Fishermen, farmers, the citizens of the city, all will be questioned. The death of so important an Englishman is most disturbing. And though there are many stones in the district of Agast, no stone amongst them will be unturned in our efforts to bring to justice the perpetrators of this crime. But I'm wondering... Will the news of this great misfortune come as a surprise to you here at Fort Apache? I'm told that during the past week, other attempts have been made on the life of Arthur Fax. Rocks have fallen from high places, nearly crushing him. Brigands have fired on him from ambush. Gunfire has erupted inside the fortress, and now he's dead, shot to death and set adrift on the river. Why, I ask myself, all this violence. Was Arthur Fax a man who deserved to be treated so? Who had such cause to hate him and why? So, I have been asking questions and I've learned a great deal. I will tell you. First, a great scientific discovery was made today at Cleft for me. This I deduce from the invitation Arthur Fax sent to you by his manservant. In the invitation, there was reference to a most remarkable fossil. The servant has been questioned most carefully and tells me that his master summoned him at 12 noon today to cleft for me where he was given these instructions. Invite my guest to dine with me this evening in celebration of my discovery. Then summon the guards and have them accompany my fossil to the armory. Second, at 1.30 p.m., four soldiers and their sergeant arrived at Cleft for me, bringing oxen to pull the cart, which was called the trolley, that every day carried archaeological discoveries to the armory where they were stored under lock and key. The soldiers reported when they arrived at Cleft for me, Arthur Fax had already left the cave and a large heavy fossil sack had been placed on the trolley along with a metal box containing the expedition records. Third, the soldiers and the ox drawn trolley reached the fort at nearly 2 p.m., and the sergeant opened the locked door of the armory with a key entrusted to him by his lieutenant. It is the only key to this door, but for the one in the possession of Arthur Fax. The trolley was rolled inside, and the door again locked. There is only one door to the armory, and only a few high and narrow barred windows. Fourth, in the late afternoon, Arthur Fax did not appear at his quarters, and his manservant grew worried. He searched throughout the fort and surrounding area, and then summoned the sergeant of guards. At 5.30, the discovery of the body of Arthur Fax on River Tigris was reported to me. Fifth, in the sack in which the body was found, there was a black pearl-handled revolver. It is a distinctive weapon and may be the one that killed Arthur Fax. In his waistcoat pocket, I found Arthur Fax's key to the armory. And sixth, the most remarkable fossil has disappeared. There is no sign of it in the armory. I did find Arthur Fax's logbook and will leave with you a copy of the last page. It was on the desk in the armory, and its last entry was made at 4 o'clock today. It is an informative document. Can it be so? Arthur Fax is dead. 
the most remarkable fossil is gone, yet the armory is tightly locked. Fort Apache is a most crowded place. Arthur Flax and his eight guests lived within the walls, 35 or 40 servants outside the walls. Despite these crowded conditions, somehow the man and the fossil were spirited away in broad daylight in the middle of an afternoon. You know that there was no roof to the armory. It was destroyed years ago in a great battle. But a canvas tent has been stretched across the top to provide shade. Someone could have scaled the walls and climbed under the canvas. But it is beyond belief that the body and the fossil were then carried out the door. There is one other clue. An empty wheelbarrow that is part of the expedition's equipment and normally stored inside the fortress was found on a wharf along the Tigris by my men about an hour ago. So, we have a murder, a theft, and a mystery. To me has fallen this task of bringing to justice the perpetrator of these crimes. I am tempted to believe that the solution to this puzzle lies here with the friends and guests of Arthur Fax, but uh, I will be patient. I will question the local inhabitants first. Then, if the murderer is not discovered elsewhere, I will return here to question each of you. I will tell you now that I have ways, most reliable ways, of discovering the truth. I would prefer not to use them. I urge you instead to debate amongst yourselves to determine the identity of the murderer and thief. Thus, justice will be served and uh, prolonged inconvenience avoided. As it is said in my country, may wisdom guide you, may right be on your side, and may you